And tonight, a grieving family is talking about the census loss of a young husband and father. It happened not far from Covington High School, a busy two lane highway used by lots of families every day to drop their kids off at school. Meg Ferris has the emotional story in this exclusive report from the North Shore. November 6, the quarter to five. Jeff Araby on his way home from work to his wife Stacy and three year old love of his life, Paisley. On Ronald Reagan Highway, that two lane stretch of Highway 190, he stopped to turn into UPS. In an instant, at only 35, he was gone. Struck from behind, his car pushed into oncoming traffic. He was my high school sweetheart. We uh, met on our Disney senior trip. Stacy says Jeff was a good husband, father, and best friend since they were teens at Fountain Blue High. Paisley asked why daddy no longer puts her to sleep. And she said, well, call Jesus and tell him, because that's Jesus. <sighs> Jesus is God's son, and so maybe he can talk to him and let him come back. So we told her that no, that Jesus and God needed him to help with the wiring of the stars, to keep the stars lit up. She knows daddy loved engineering, building things. He was teaching her how to use tools. It's beyond devastation, our precious granddaughter, you know, just knowing that all the gifts he had will not be able to be shared through him. The family says Jeff was selfless, an organ donor. He never would have wanted this spotlight. Community members offering to cook Thanksgiving dinner, the many donations to help Stacy, now only on her pre-K teacher's salary, or the hundreds at his funeral. A funeral the same morning, another wreck happened just miles down the same highway, injuring the driver. Covington police say Jeff's wreck is under investigation, but say in general they see more wrecks from distracted driving. As more technology advances, you're going to see more people on their cell phones, and we see it every day. The turning lane ends right before the spot Jeff was stopped. Well, it would be nice to have a turning lane there. I just don't want this to happen to anybody else. They know Jeff's eye tissue was donated. They hope it'll help someone see. After his chance to see Paisley grow up, came to a sudden end. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Just heartbreaking. You can donate at any Whitney Hancock bank to the Paisley Araby Fund or online. Meg says use the Facebook link only on our website because the family has already noticed someone is trying to make a fake donation site.